Chief Judge, please note the contestant is ready. Contestant number four, Shravan A. You may begin your speech now. The virtual stage is yours. All the very best. Bharat was once the nucleus of the metal age. When every single country was draped in rags, we found ourselves amongst the Vedas and the Upanishads. We produced the choicest varieties of cotton. And every single country was amazed and fascinated about this advancement that we had and aimed to achieve the same peaks of glory. Well, that was many years back. That was centuries back to be more precise. And nowadays, in a nation where people spend billions and billions on foreign products just a day, all this would sound weird. But don't you think we, the future generation of our country, can bring about change? Can't we be the catalysts of change, catalysts of our, our, our country's advancement? Can't we make Make in India out of Made in India? Of course, yes, we can. Shri Guru Pyanamaha and a very good evening to one and all present here. My esteemed regards to the uh, esteemed judges of this contest. It is indeed a matter of privilege to be expanding on the topic, Make in India a local initiative to global reach. A booming economy interconnected to a well-preserved nature. Constant skill enhancement and increasing innovation. A bastion of intellectual property and the best class of manufacturing. All these factors combined together would form what is known as the dream of any developing country. And most often, it does stay a dream. It does die just as a dream without coming into reality. Until we, the citizens, the government and all sectors of business join hands in order to bring about change. Well, now that drives me to the centric ideology of my speech. So before I move on with my speech, let me put forth the question. When is a nation said to be self-sufficient? Of course, when it has all the resources to keep its citizens content and happy. And that is exactly what the Make in India motion refers to. It is targeted on 25 economic sectors and aims to transform India into a global design and manufacturing export hub. Launched in 2014, it has three main objectives. The first one is to increase the growth rate of the manufacturing sector by 12 to 14 percentage per annum. The second one is to create 100 million additional job opportunities in the manufacturing sector by the year 2022. And the third objective is to ensure that the contribution of the manufacturing sector to the gross domestic product of our country is at least 25 percentage or even more than that. Just envisaging these instances and working towards it with a lot of sincerity has taken us miles away from where we were a few years back. In the year 2016, we were in the position of 130 in the globe, in the list of countries. And in 2019, we advanced to position 63. If this is not development, what is? These impactful ideologies of Make in India has also proved that startups are the backbone of our nation. Not just that, we also acknowledge that national funds can be spent in many more productive ways if we are self-reliant. And let us not forget, if we can manufacturing ev manufacture everything in our own country, there will be no unemployment because we have a lot of additional job opportunities. The cost of manufacturing, the cost of service, everything would decrease, hence enabling greater customer satisfaction. And not just that we would not have to go to any other country begging for loans and not being able to repay them. So put it, to put it all in a nutshell, we shall refine our nation in a plethora of ways in this movement called Make in India. But is that all? Does it mean that we have reached the destination of our dreams? Well, not at all. Folks, just take a minute and look around yourselves. Look around what you have in your houses. That ceramic cup you're using to consume your beverages is probably from a foreign land. That car you're using at home is probably based out of German engineering. And let us not forget, almost every commodity has this inevitable and great Made in China banner. Well, as the citizens of tomorrow who are going to shoulder the responsibility of safeguarding our country's spirituality, democracy, values, etc., there is still a lot to be done. First of all, let us stay away from our gadgets at least 15 minutes a day and take time to understand our country's economic situation to act for a better tomorrow. Let us pledge to stop consuming foreign aerated drinks and resort to fresh fruit, juice and tender coconut. 
This will not just help improve our health condition, but also generate a lot of revenue for our country. Moreover, let us not just fan and favor the age old occupation of agriculture, but also know to conserve our natural resources and use them in a judicious manner. So all these objectives, all these doings will lead us to a greater future. So if self-reliance is the true road to freedom, then impactful ideologies and a dynamic attitude would be the bricks of the same. And being your own person is the ultimate reward. Being a self-made nation is indeed a boon. Be Indian, buy Indian. Thank you and Vande Matram. Jai Hind. Thank you, Shravan. You will now switch off your camera and mute your mic. We shall observe one minute silence for the judges to mark their ballots. <laughs> 